Some new video tonight released by Aurora Police showing the controversial shooting of 14-year-old Jordell Richardson. The teen was shot and killed by police after officers say he robbed a convenience store with a pellet gun. This video from a protest earlier in the month. Well, tonight, Fox 31's Greg Nieto is looking at the new video and what we learned today. He joins us live here new at 9. Greg? Yeah, Jeremy, I've been in contact with Jordell Richardson's father. He says neither he nor Jordell's mother have watched any of those videos, nor do they intend to do so. Tonight, Aurora Police releasing a total of five videos via YouTube. Use of force expert James Albee narrowing most of his focus on video number five. Um, it's also going to give us a better, much better idea of exactly what happened versus trying to determine of a little camera right here. A surveillance camera overview of the alley behind the convenience shop, eventually showing officers in pursuit of Jordell Richardson. There's a lot of investigations going to have to be done. Video that had previously been released was from the perspective of the officer body camera. Albee says the perspective further establishes that crucial seven seconds. The seven seconds from the time that they, um, the first officer made contact, took him down to the ground, um, started yelling gun. Um, there's some verbal commands that were given um, to try to get him to comply, and there was a total of seven seconds from the time that the officer yelled gun to the to the time that the shot was fired. Ultimately, in the eyes of use of force expert James Albee, does this set of video back up either side's account of this tragedy? This is definitely going to help the officers. Um, it, it supports the officer articulation of why they made the decisions that they made. Now, late today, I reached out to an attorney for the Richardson family. He says, in part, the surveillance video released today continued to show that Jordell never threatened an officer with a weapon. There is no evidence from any of the videos released to date that shows this shooting of a 14-year-old child was justified. Greg Gantel, Fox 31.